Hi, I'm Cinnamon Cooney, your art Sherpa, and today I'm so excited to show you how, with just a few materials, you can make this gorgeous ballerina in this cute tutu. She's actually really easy. She's super beginner friendly. I think you're going to love making her. Get your paint, get your brushes, get your artist knives. Come back and meet me at Diesel right now. We're going to paint this. Let's look at the fun materials we're going to be using in today's great project. Now, I have here a 9 by 12 artist board. These are prepped, ready to go. You don't need to do another thing to them. Of course, you can paint on any surface you have. Remember, everything I'm talking about today is at michaels.com forward slash the art sherpa as an easy way for you to find it. But we'll list out the whole material list in the description below. I have phthalo green paint. I have yellow medium ozo, but you could use cadmium yellow or napa yellow. I have phthalo turquoise, quinacridone magenta, titanium white, and this is carbon black, but of course you can use Mars black. A big wide brush so suitable for acrylic painting. A couple of my Art Sherpa artist knives. My number four round, and this is a Cron d'Ache watercolor pencil, but any watercolor pencil that you have, I think you're going to be excited to do this today. Let's get going. Now, I'm ready to go ahead and paint the background in. Some people like to leave it white, but even if you leave it white, I highly recommend painting it with a coat of white paint just to make sure that it looks bright and clean. I, however, am going to do a soft yellow because my daughter loves soft yellow. So I'm going to get a little bit of my yellow paint and using my artist knife, I'm going to mix it into my white until it's a very light baby duck color. If you've ever seen baby ducks and they're a little bit of yellow fluff, chicks Little chicks and hens and baby birds sometimes have this color, and I just want a little bit of it so it's warm and it's made specifically to make her happy. You should definitely, definitely make your child happy. That's the best thing, best feeling in the world. Now I'm going to get a big brush, simple thing, and I'm going to dip it in water, drag off the extra, and just load up this color to paint my whole canvas. Now, when it's entirely done, you're going to want to let it dry before you do the next layer. So you can dry it with a hair dryer. Or you can let it air dry. Either is fine. So for the next part, I'm going to use that chalk pencil we talked about to very lightly sketch in my ballerina. Now, you may not be somebody who enjoys drawing yet. I'm sure you will soon. But if today is not that day, also in the description below is a link to a free traceable that you can transfer onto the image yourself. And you don't even have to worry about drawing. But I'm going to sketch mine in with this very light pencil. So I tried using my light charcoal pencil, but it was so light I couldn't really see it. I realized it would be better to use a slightly darker pencil. This is a watercolor pencil, and so it will really be nice to vanish into my paint. Once you're ready to paint in your silhouette, grab your black paint. And we're going to paint that entire silhouette in. So I'm going to put out this black right here. Now it's very, very thick. So I'm going to thin it with a little bit of water. So it flows off my brush nicer. I'm using an Art Sherpa number four round. When you're painting in a silhouette, it's important to remember that less is more. And you can always add more black paint if you need it. So go slowly. And try to stay well inside the lines of your outline. As soon as you have a silhouette that you're happy with, go ahead and dry the paint. And I'll show you how you can clean up any watercolor pencil marks that you might have. All right. So once your piece is dry, there's two ways that you can clean up any of your sketch lines or tracing lines. That is to come here with a damp brush and just very carefully remove any extra. This is why it was important to have the paint underneath be dry. That way you can easily clean it up. The other way that you can come back in and clean up something is if you have background color left, you can come in and then just very carefully make any little changes or adjustments that you want or clean up any little lines that you might want to clean up. So those are the two ways to do that. Neither one is better. They're both okay. You've just got to do something that you feel comfortable with and you like the result of. 
The big thing here is to remember to have fun. Breathe deeply. And know there's usually several ways to accomplish anything. Now, I'm going to show you how to do the tutu, the bodice, and the beautiful flowers on the head using a palette knife. You guys are going to love this trick. Now, this I based on, again, colors that my daughter likes. You definitely customize for you. I put out phthalo blue, phthalo turquoise. I put out quinacridone pink. I still have a little bit of my yellow hair. And I have three different spots of white so that I can lighten or make little adjustments. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is mix together these two colors because when they're mixed together, they make turquoise. Right there. They're going to make a little bit of turquoise. And I'm going to take a small amount of my white into this and lightly fold this in. That's going to make an obvious turquoise color, but a darker one. All right? And it's pretty, pretty dark. And notice that it's loosely mixed. Then I'll come over here and add a lighter turquoise. For another layer. That'll be very pretty. A little more mixed. I'm going to clean my artist knife. And I'm going to do a pink that she likes. So she likes a little bit of warmth in her pinks. So I'm going to add a small amount of the yellow. And then let's come in and get just a bit of the white and also. And you see we're just loosely mixing that right there. I don't want to take out the streaks because I want, I'm going to get a little more yellow and kind of fold that in. A little more white. I want it to be a bit streaky. And I've left a little bit of the just pink straight there. So the tutu. First layer, I've got my diamond here. I've got to put in a bodice and I've got to put in the bottom layer of my tutu. So I'm going to pick up some of my paint on the tip of this artist knife and I'm going to very carefully use it to press out just a little bit of a top that she might be wearing. Let's grab a little more of our color. Pretty dark and I just am careful to stay inside my silhouette lines. It's okay if there's lots of texture. You want that. Now I'm going to come up here to the shoulder and drag out a couple little floofs. And then let's just tap, loading a bead, and adjust very carefully. Tap a strap up towards that. Now for the skirt, it's so much fun. Take your knife, scrape from right towards left, loading like this. I'm going to come right here. And pull it out to start making the tutu. Let's come back the other way to make a little more tutu. Now I'm going to want to do almost the opposite. I'm going to load this from left to right. I'm going to come right here. Just pulling those down. I curve this. It pulls out little bits of tool and little elements that you can see right away. Kind of feel like the tutu. And make sure that some of these go up. But it's very full and very exciting. See, that's very exciting. I'm going to rinse out. And even before it's dry, I can come now with a slightly lighter color. And 
and add another layer. Still loading, scraping, that's right. Pulling that extra layer in. Now, I may also come right here, add a little bit there, and maybe a little bit at the shoulder. Let's talk a bit about some flowers that might be on her bun. You can see I'm just using the tip. Look at that. But we're not done. We have one last layer to give it some pop. So this pink that we put, I'm going to come right here. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the pink to the shoulder a bit. Just a touch. And let's add a little bit right there. Maybe even some in the hair. Just on the tip, I'm just tapping very gently. And it kind of implies that there's maybe these are like little pink flowers that are in her hair. Now I'm going to load up some of this. Just tap. And I don't press in very hard. I want to catch just the top of the paint for this to work. Scraping off. Coming right here. These are like little extra bits and it just let it catch the top of the tutu. Scraping off. And if I have to clean, I'll clean because I'm trying to let everything happen here within the paint. I'm going to do the left to right load. I can come here and add just small bits. A pink. That is just everything. Isn't that just amazing? Maybe a few more little flowers right here. You can come down. See, that's right there. You really can't get it wrong at all. And if you have any yellow left, it can be fun to come and add just a few taps. Like you're catching the center of maybe some yellow flowers you can see i'm just on the on the tip of my brush and that will maybe talk about the finish of just grab some pink the tutu there all right so if you've used a good heavy bodied paint like i've demoed here all the texture on your palette knife is going to stay really thick and just like you left it, if you've used a student paint, it may level, but all the texture, uh, the way the brush stroke breaks will remain. So just know that you might have a slightly different result or the paint might shrink if you're not using the uh, heavy body professional kind of paints. But don't worry, it's gorgeous either way. So you know what we're gonna do, we're gonna sign it. Let's grab a detail brush. We put some aside to be ready for just this event. I think I'm going to sign it uh, with some of those turquoise is a real pretty color that I liked. I will thin my paint a bit and put it on a small detail brush. And I'm personally going to come right here, right to the shoe, and just put my signature there because I think that's a neat place to put it. I think it's fun to sign so years later people know who made the painting. All right. That was a wonderful creative time we got to spend together today. I'm so happy to be able to show you how to take a silhouette and using a palette knife make a really cute tutu, all customized for your life at home. Here she is. She's in a frame. She's ready to go on the wall. I'm so proud of her. I hope you're proud of yours. I can't wait to see them on social media. Remember to share with me anywhere that you see my Art Sherpa accounts on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or Pinterest or YouTube. I'm happy to see them anywhere. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And I want to see you at an easel really soon. Bye-bye.